Okay, and here we dry roasted. We got one jalapeno. Dry roasted with the seeds inside. We'll remove those before using them. And uh, yeah, these look complete. We have some great tomatoes. We're going to pop those into the blender. Plus I went with some crushed. Crushed canned tomatoes, those are hunts. I thought they would be better for my recipe. And a whole bulb of garlic smashed not diced, I'm going to let the blender do the dicing. It's got to cool down, I can't put hot liquids in that blender. Okay, so that's all we have to wait for is to cool down. And we'll get going. Okay, right now what we're going to do is work on our tomato sauce. We want to get that prepared. So, uh... We need a bowl. Actually, I think we'll use a cup. A measuring cup. And we want to work that garlic into the sauce. So once again, we start with water. That really protects the machine. What we're looking to do is uh, grind up our uh, smashed garlic. I don't think that's going to fit. I need a smaller spoon. Okay, once again, let's get our uh, Hunt's tomatoes crushed with uh, Smashed garlic, no oils, nothing, no wine, nothing. We just want to get this all fixed up for a smoothie. Well, smoothie, venger, venger, smoothie, veggie blender. And then we're going to transfer it into a, uh, a separate container to add to the eventual mix. So I'll say again, what we're looking for is to chop up the garlic. You don't want to put hot liquids in this container. It's not built for it. It's like uh, 547. 547 p.m. 12 July. Here we go. You can actually see it blend. There's two different colors in there. There's the red tomato and the white garlic. You can see the blending process.
This should be good. Okay, so we're going to dump it. It's slightly warm. It's anywhere near being hot. Beautifully blended. Okay. Another dash of water. You should fit everything in at this point. We're really just trying to grind up the garlic. It's a whole ball. All I did was smash it. I usually smash it dice. And I went with the Hunt's canned tomato because the price of tomato over at the store went up. Almost like 50 cents. You know, I've been getting these. I don't know if you've seen these tomatoes on the vine. I I like to use these. I got them for ninety nine cents. They're now a buck forty nine. So I went for a can of hunch, which I always choose if I'm being picky. I go for hunch. This would even work for a pasta recipe. You know, you could uh, go through all of this and puree and then drop it on pasta. I always like to pull the plug. And we're going to dump. So we almost got two cu four cups. I'm using a four cup Pyrex measurer. So we almost got four cups out of that. Another splash of water. Let's go to our uh, brewer's yeast. 